All right, so I put a few here, put a few there. I put some by the fence. We'll see what happens. Maybe they'll come out so I don't have to come here. They go through the fence. That would be cool. So I came through here. And, uh, you know, it's still um, kind of cool temperatures. So the bugs are not here. This is nice. If there was bugs, I'd be tripping out. Speaking of tripping out, I almost tripped on a vine. She caught my foot. But, uh, yes, thank you. I was vigilant. So I got a few spots here. Bang, 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 bang. So I got to remember, this is about here. Uh, huh? You see the markers? And we're almost at the bridge. And uh, that's what's up. Now... NDG is no more. This is now Montreal West. A little more fancier neighborhood. And over there is called Saint Luc. A little more those people you're not supposed to criticize neighborhood. If you know what I mean. Okay. So yeah, we're having fun. Today's a big day. There was um so last summer I got flooded. My apartment got flooded and this what me, that's what made me start documenting, start filming things. Uh, the corruption of the city. They're trying to say it's not our, their fault. And then the next day they, they start fixing up all the sewers. And as soon as it started raining, the water would flood, come out of the toilet and the drains, the showers, the sewers. The whole place was a mess. Everybody lost their basements and their stuff. And uh, I spoke to some people who went to the town meeting. City didn't give a shit. They said, you know, kick rocks. And uh, yeah, so that that's what happened to me. I lived there for seven years. I was in a basement apartment and then boom, the, that happened. So I moved back with my parents. God bless. The, it's amazing to have family who uh, can help you and care. For you and love you so very thankful for that and uh but you know i need my own place my old guy you know and uh then then what then um i finally find a place and it's nicer than my old place one month and a half now i gotta grab my stuff and get out of there because there's beef the block is hot and these people i'm not gonna go into details but those people they uh started beefing over like uh nothing so yeah all right i think there's a hole in the fence all right so this is gonna be my spot this is a good spot all right very good spot easy access now the sun comes from down there, so we want a morning sun and maybe an afternoon sun. What do you think? Yeah, we'll hit. We'll hit, we'll hit. Now that's all gonna grow and it's gonna make a lot of shade. But I don't know, I have a feeling that these, these pumpkins and squashes and watermelons, I have a feeling that they're quite resilient. I'm at the North Junction. Gotta keep the head on the swivel. Watch out, you don't get hit by a train, son. There's a little cabana here. What's going on in here? I need a I need a room for rent. Is this room for rent? Nice. Security, got a lock. Silver walls. Come on, man. This is amazing. Anybody live here? You have a little vent. Oh, some people blocked it with some bull crap. Wow. All right, I better be careful. These people are gonna come fuck with me if they see me. All right. Maybe, maybe I'll come back. Maybe it's time. <laughs> Yo, you scared, David? Nah, I'm not scared. Shit, free man from the land, know what I mean? Look, people can come here too. I don't want people messing with my shit. You know what I mean? OK, 
Okay, I think we're gonna drop a few seeds right here. What do you think? Oh, who's there? It's a uh, squirrel. All right. All right. I ain't gonna mess with your stuff. I'm gonna keep it pushing. And you don't mess with my stuff. All right. So we're out. I see people, they come here, they walk. See here, you're, you're allowed to walk here. And maybe I could put some stuff on the side of the bridge. And then I could walk down here, right by those power lines. You think uh, it's gonna make the, you think it's gonna make the, the stuff grow uh, electrified? So now we're at, we're at, we're at people's, these, you got people's backyards over here and you got a path along the power lines here. People walk their dogs and stuff. And then you got garbage people that like to throw their trash. People, uh, they're not, they just don't know, you know? You gotta treat the place nice. You don't, you don't put your trash everywhere. But these people, they weren't taught proper. You know, you gotta learn. That's why you have to teach the youth. All right, I'm tired of filming, that's enough. <laughs>